All right, the next example we'll look at is this one. Uh, similar to the last one, as you can tell, uh, we still have two of the three sides. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna try to identify the third side. This is a little bit different because as you can see, the side we don't know, we'll call it A, is one of our legs, as opposed to the last one when it was our uh, hypotenuse. So when you solve for A, you'll get a is equal to, again, normally we do plus or minus, but since we're measuring a distance, we don't use it. Uh, we do need to make sure that we simplify the radical. So we, we're not gonna leave it as a square root of eight. Four is a perfect square that'll go into eight, and the square root of four is two. So we'll say it's two square root of two. So that's our missing side, so that's good. And then now what we need to do is identify uh, each of the sides. So our reference angle, we have also moved that. It was over here in the first example, now it's over there. So what we'll do is we'll say our reference angle is going to determine where our sides are. The one that stays the same, of course, is your hypotenuse. It's going to be opposite the right angle. And then now this becomes our adjacent side. And this right here will be our opposite. So when we're looking for the sine, the ratio for sine is the opposite side over the hypotenuse. So 2 squared of 2 over 3. Our cosine is going to be the adjacent side over the hypotenuse. Your tangent is going to be the opposite over the adjacent, which we can just write as 2 square root of 2. And then our cosecant is going to be the reciprocal of our sine. So we'll have 3, 2 square root of 2. And then the secant is going to be the reciprocal of cosine, which will be 3. And then over here we'll get 1 over 2 square root of 2. Just like we were talking about before, though, we actually need to simplify these. We need to rationalize the denominator. So we we'll multiply the top and the bottom by the square root of 2 on both of these. The goal of this is, of course, to get the radical out of our denominator. So when you multiply the top by the square root of 2, you get 3 square root of 2. When you multiply the bottom, you're going to get multiply your coefficients together. So 2 times 1 is 2. And then the square root of 2 times the square root of 2 is going to be the square root of 4, which is 2. So 2 times 2 will give us 4. In our denominator, or, or the other fraction, we'll get the numerator to be the square root of 2, and then the denominator will turn out to be the same. So that's our second example, and we'll go on and look at some more special triangles here in a second.